welcome to CC's Texas Garden. If this is your first time here, my name is Cynthia. Welcome to my channel. Guys, today is harvest day. Now, I know this basket is not going to be big enough for the harvest we're going to be doing today, but hey, it is what it is. We're going to stack it up as full as we can, and uh, I'll get some more containers and fill up the rest of it. But welcome to my channel. Guys, things have been growing. I have been enjoying the fall season. And today, as you see, I have a hat on. I know. But it's in the 60s. <laughs> so, it's a little cool for this Texas girl. Okay? But we're out here and we're going to harvest some things. Some greens. Some, uh few other things probably some cucumbers some okra things like that so i'm gonna take y'all along and y'all can come and harvest with me and i hope that you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel so you can not miss anything that i post okay all right let's go to the garden okay guys so these are seven top turnips and it only creates the tops which i love i like the greens of the turnips but i don't like the turnips itself so i am just gonna get in here this is cut and come again so you can be you don't have to be gentle with these these will come back guys I'm gonna leave these rest here because I think <laughs> we got a big stack this is a huge stack of turnip greens um, I'm thinking I may cook up some uh, turkey wings and turnip greens today that does sound good so let's go to the mustard greens next Okay guys, so now we're over here by my Florida Broadleaf Mustard Greens and my Red uh, red Mustard Greens. And um, I'm going to harvest these leaves up and um, we'll get on to the next thing. Alright guys, 
so as you can see the basket is full up with just two places we harvest it. We have our turnip tops and we have our mustard greens. Now here in this bed is our Georgia collards. Now it's not ready to be harvested. They need to be a lot bigger. And I also need to thin them out and put some of these collard greens in other containers. But what we are going to harvest is some of this blue kale. Right, guys so we have our bucket of blue kale I also have some Swiss chard in here but they're they are not ready either all right guys so the last two things that I am going to be harvesting today will be my longhorn okra and some of my roselle that is ready um, yeah let's get those last two things done
That was a bird that came in the okra. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the okra is wet, so I'm getting get in the shower. All right, guys. So the rest of the rest of the okra is on the other side. I'm not going to take y'all over there. But I'll show you my harvest when I get back. Okay, guys. I forgot to do a quick check on my cucumbers to see if there's any to harvest. And I want to go ahead and do that before the bees get out here to do their work. Okay, so we have what five. There's a lot of small ones in there, and some that needs a little bit longer uh, before I harvest them. But pickling cucumbers, love them. Look forward to a pickling video. I'll be making some pickles. Okay, guys, we have finished our harvest for today. I am excited. <laughs> okay, so. We're gonna start off here with, let's show y'all what I got. Now my okra production is starting to get a little slow. I've noticed that I have a lot of gallons of okra in my freezer already. So I'm not worried about the okra slowing down. I got some of the hibiscus. These are the pickling cucumbers. And of course we have to have a beautiful flower bouquet. These zinnias. I just love them. They're a cut and come again flower. They're starting to be my favorite. We also have our little bucket of these blue kale. And our nice harvest size basket of the turnip tops and the mustard greens. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss another harvest that I do. And if you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of CC's Texas Garden. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.